So I'm back. I've done quite a few episodes here. This place has been pounded pretty good, but found some great stuff here. Barber dimes, uh, Indian head pennies, found a, a standing Liberty quarter, one of those really cool uh, World War I trench lighters, tokens, but it's kind of beat up. So what I've decided to do today, I've been hunting a lot with my small coil. There's some really deep topsoil here, which is kind of rare for Montana. So I'm gonna try my big coil, at least start with that. See if I can find some deep stuff I missed with my regular coil. And then maybe, if there's still time, I'll hit the iron areas of my mini coil. But essentially today, we're just gonna try to find some treasure that we missed here and switching up coils to try to make that happen. All right, see what we can get. All right, there's my first kind of relicy thing. Looks like part of a razor. Anybody know what the heck that thing is? It's interesting. Never dug something like that before. Huh. All right, I'm seeing something around in the hole. Oh, look at that. Pocket watch back. Very cool. All right, let's keep going. Look at that cool hook I found. That's neat. I'm gonna probably make something out of that. Well, that was quite the hole. I got a horseshoe and a Model T radiator cap in the same hole. Yeah, it looks like I snagged my first button. Let's see if it says anything on it. Oh, you know what? That's gonna be one of those uh, locomotive engine railroad buttons. Those are always fun. Yeah, nice. Well, obviously this is a big field and I know I would have missed stuff no matter what, but I feel like the big coil is working out for me. See if I can get an old coin or a deep token or something. Got another button it says kangaroo brand. There we go. Now we're talking. Look at that. And an old Chinese coin. Wish I knew more about these. I mean, I know there was lots of uh, railroad workers and stuff that were Chinese. But I have no idea how to tell how old these coins are. Let me brush it up a little bit. Well, I don't know how old the coin is, but it was probably dropped here in the late 1800s or the early 1900s. That's beautiful. That thing's in such good shape. It's so cool. All right, let's keep going. Hey, harmonica reed. Cool, man, we're finding some stuff. This is awesome. I I just got a little U.S. Army button. It says U.S. Army right on there. How cool is that? So, <laughs> this lighter says, now say beep beep, you son of a, you know what? This must be a Roadrunner's lighter from a long, a long time ago. <laughs> so this field, now look at my dog. It's just full of burrs. Look at my boots. Look at that. That is going to be some work. Get my clothing back to normal. Well, I was hoping for an Indian head, but I did get a weedy right now. See if it's a older date. Yeah, I think it says 1929. Nice. Well, this place <laughs> just keeps on giving, I guess. I mean, that might not be the best hunt I've ever had, but I'll tell you what. 
for a site that's just totally beat up and everything man i feel like i did pretty good today i don't know if the big coil made the difference or not uh i didn't really feel like i dug anything super deep but i definitely covered more ground than i would have with the little coil so i do have that advantage i'll tell you what though after swinging that mini coil my arm's out of shape <laughs> that big coil really tore me up today that thing's heavy anyways hope you enjoyed it see you on the next one